Oh, it burns so good. Hey, the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. <laughs> What's up, rascals? As you know, Halloween is drawing closer, and so is the completion of my costume for Halloween. Yes, I dress up for Halloween to greet the trick-or-treaters. If, if they're gonna go out in costumes, I may as well do one myself. It was always fun as a kid when you're all costumed up to go trick-or-treating and see the people answering the door being just as into it as you are. Am I the only one that thought that? Anyway, this is literally all I have to do with my costume. Yes, I just have one last thing to do. Well, two technically, because once I have the molded pieces on, I need to make it match all the other pieces. But I figured I'd, uh, you know, have a quick chat with you while I'm uh, finishing up at least the build process of my costume. The finishing touches, however, that's, that's, eh, you know, finishing touches. Hey, I was keeping all the pieces in a plastic bag so that I don't lose them because they're tiny pieces. They're like, well, this obviously isn't, but the rest of them, they're they're all like, like small because they're. I almost lost it. <laughs> they're they're the knuckle pieces for the for the robot hand. Yeah, I'm gonna be a robot, and I'm gonna greet all the trick or treaters and give them all the candies, <laughs> and possibly freak a few people out. Let's be honest. Uh, last year it was pretty amusing because I uh, stood outside on the edge of my uh, driveway and people were not quite sure. They, A few people thought I was a uh, mannequin up until I started moving and talking to them. All right. Hot glue's on there. Now, I'm a welder so the hot glue's not going to bother me so much. But this, oh, <laughs> it burns. Ah, that doesn't hurt so bad. Oh, it hurts a lot. Ow. But I can endure it because I'm a man. My hands are going to be red and splotchy when this is done. But, but so far, nice and grippy. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be on there. And uh, I'm just going to make sure. The cool thing about the hot glue is it'll stick to the foam. And then with the weave of the uh, material of the glove, it'll kind of seep into that to like lock the grip. So I don't have to worry about this thing falling apart mid Halloween shenanigans. I forgot to organize these things so I can put them on in order. Technically there doesn't need to be an order, but you know, it helps with alignment if I do them in a specific order. All right, now that I've got all the knuckle pieces in order, along with the process and the pain, but whatever, I'm a masochist. I will, I will suffer for my art. <laughs> I don't know, this, the whole cosplay thing, I've always been somewhere in my subconscious. I knew that I'd eventually do some of this stuff, so. <laughs> it's it, it burns a little bit, but it's not as bad as before. I don't know if I'm going to actually try and record anything, but if you guys want to see how all the trick-or-treaters react to me, uh, let me know in the comments, and I will see about... <laughs> Quiet, you. I'm more scared dropping the pieces than I am of. Oh, and I dropped some. Ah, oh, the hubris. All right, got them back, so it's all good. All good. Ugh. Only stuck a little bit. Only stung a little bit. Yeah, last year it, my costume wasn't all that involved because it was a little more um, impromptu. I wasn't even sure if I was going to do any such thing, but it was... I, I went ahead and did it. I'll pop up a picture right now so you can see it, but I painted my face, did a whole steam-powered draft-style uh, robot. The makeup took roughly two hours to uh, put together and, and finish, 
so I was definitely committed by the time I started brushing that stuff on. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it sticks. There's a bit of stringies too. Okay, but no problem. Uh, some spots are more bearable than others. Not by much, but, you know, enough. You'd think that with as much time as I spend dealing with heat, with my job, with my regular day job, that is, uh, that this wouldn't affect me so bad. But, you know what? Having nerve endings is a problem when you gotta do stuff like this. Uh, I tell you though, mm, if I continue to make costume stuff, I'm definitely going to look into making plaster molds of my hands so that I don't suffer like this uh, the next time around. Bit of touch up so that it doesn't wander and stray on me. <laughs> right on the knuckle! <laughs> mm. That's the most sensitive part of all because it's so close to the bone. Ugh. Nerve endings are such a pain. The further along on this, the more I, I lose articulation in my hand. Not because of pain, mind you, it's because of these these foam pieces being so thick. Uh, I don't lose all the articulation, it's just with these bulky pieces, it's it kind of interferes with the uh, natural movement of things. There. But it's the price you pay. I'm just, I'm not really planning to do anything major just other than stand outside my house and potentially freak some people out. If they remember last year, they might be expecting it, so uh, we'll see. All I know is it's gonna be fun. Oh, if you're planning on doing something like this, I recommend not using your hand to stick these things onto a glove, but I do recommend these gloves because they are sticking really well because of the way they are. I, th they, I bought these gloves at uh, Home Depot and they were not expensive. They were like, I can't even remember how much they were. Um, I'll look it up and uh, give you a price in like a blurb. If you are interested in doing such thing, if you want to get crafty and cosplay-y and cool thing about these gloves that I didn't even think about when I got them, but it's become kind of a, a cool little uh, selling point, is that I don't have to take my take a glove off in order to use my phone. The I can I can navigate the touch screen just fine wearing these gloves and oh it burns so good. It's weird how some spots in my hand can handle the heat more than others. I don't know, I'm, I'm not a neurologist or whatever the hell kind of scientist you'd have to be to understand how nerves work. But we're almost done here, so you can kind of see how the, how the hand is going to look and uh, get an idea of what the costume is going to be. I know this is a stray from my usual content, but you know what? I'm having fun with it, so whatever. Uh, if you want to see me do a like uh, a test fit of my costume, just to get an idea of what it's going to look like all put together, uh, let me know in the comments below, uh, and uh, we'll see about doing that before Halloween. Next piece! Sticky, sticky. On that finger. Didn't hurt as bad as I thought it was gonna. Starting to sting just a tiny bit through here, but uh, the glue's already cooling down, so it's it's manageable. Nice. That means the next one's going to be a 
real pain, probably. I don't know. My body's weird. <gasps> I was right! <laughs> Why did I have to be right? Ow, 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 ow. I am suffering for your entertainment. Remember that. And enjoy. The pain is only temporary, but the memories will last forever, and oh god, they will haunt me. Despite the horrible idea of how I'm putting these together, the whole process is a lot of fun. <laughs> I say that as I'm writhing in pain. <laughs> ah, that's only temporary, and it'll be worth it. <clears throat> mm. But, like I was saying, I have no idea why I didn't start making costumes like this before. Essentially, it's the same kind of fabrication stuff that I do at work, it's just different materials. It's fabrication. And I've done fabrication for so long, it, this is just practically second nature to me. I mean, it's, a, it's different processes, but it's fun to learn something new. I'm already getting ideas for a different robot costume for next year. Uh, or, dare I say it, if I ever go to a convention again, if they ever do physical conventions again, that I hope they do. Yeah, almost done. One more piece to go and this glove will be finished. Then I will uh, dress it up all nice and rusty to match the rest of my costume. The weathering process is a pretty standard one. I learned it from a couple of videos from, from Evil Ted and uh, Punished Props. So, <laughs> so if you wanna learn the tricks that I learned, just check out their channels and uh, you'll be able to do this stuff in no time. Just learn from my mistake. Don't burn yourself. My hand is looking a little bit lobster-like, but yeah, that'll go, that, that'll pass. Now I've got the last piece all finished up and then I do the weathering technique and then it'll match the left hand. Well, Rascals, like I said, this isn't my normal kind of video. I just figured I'd try something different and I figured I'd share this with you because I thought it was fun. Who knows, maybe it's something you guys are into. Either way, thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.